Next tonight, the famous Ponchatoula alligator, Hardhide, has called downtown home for years, but soon she's going to be leaving her exhibit for good. Some in town told News 2's Nick Perlin, it's going to be hard to see her go, Nick. Yeah, Michael, everyone I spoke to had some sort of memory of Hardhide, and they'll miss her. But some say this is a huge opportunity for the city to find new traditions. Right next to this busy road in downtown Ponchatoula is where you can find Hardhide the alligator. She's been in this exhibit for roughly 13 years, but now she will have to leave. I am a little sad that it's moving. But the 65 year old alligator simply leaving the exhibit seems like a bargain. Recently, Wildlife and Fisheries told Mike Kleber, the owner of Hardhide, that the gator could be euthanized. In this Facebook post, Kleber announced that the beloved Hardhide is saved and that they will be retiring her into a privately owned natural habitat. And they hope to make a new and better exhibit for a future gator. Tyler Kinchin and Sarah Medina live in Ponchatoula, and they all have great memories of Hardhide. It's been a part of this community for, they said, 60 years, and I know it's been there all my life as well. I remember as a little kid, um, people would throw little coins at that alligator. Everyone knows alligator. It's been all over our community for so long, and it's like a big part of us. But even though it's time to say goodbye to Hardhide for good, some, like Kinchin, say parting ways with the gator might be a chance for Ponchatoula to start new traditions. But not everyone fully agrees. If we're having it for tradition, we should have something that can represent this community. It doesn't have to necessarily be the alligator. We've been seeing it since we've grown up, so it's like it's part of us now. And if it just goes, then it's just going to be a whole wreck. Kleber also thanked everyone in the city, parish, and the Hardhide fans around the world for showing support for the beloved alligator. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Nick Perlin, WBRZ News 2. All right, Nick, thank you.